So hey guys, here you can see three different things. One is power plug, one is um, phone, and one is just socket where you can put it in. Anyway, what is this? This is actually very nice stuff. It's, I needed this just to make sure that I can uh, remotely turn on my heater. And I bought this smart power plug. And it came like this, just in this. Uh, it didn't come with any extra safety around so be aware that this might broke during the postage but more or less for me both worked nice and this is still new one i haven't tried this out yet one i have been using about for six months maybe five months something like that so i've tested this for a while and i can a little bit talk about this one but this is brand new so comes in this little of course you get instruction, that's good thing because if you order something from China, <laughs> you might not get anything at all. And uh, this instruction, is there English? Well, let's see. Yes, there is. That's actually a rather big one. As you can see, and let's zoom in so you can read if you need something. So it's called Wi-Fi smart socket, the Wi-Fi smart power plug, as you can see here. It says that it's uh, working with USB output as well. You can charge your phone here. Just cable charging. <laughs> I never have tried this one, actually. I didn't remember, didn't see this one. That's nice. Uh, what else? Yeah, Wi-Fi inside, so you can connect it to Wi-Fi. Um, 10 amps, so you can actually use it for your heater as well, even after 2000 watts and a little bit more, but something like that, more or less, without any problems at all. And uh, here is a QR, just scan it and you will get application for this one. And then there's the instruction how to, how to connect everything else together. I don't know if you need to show, I need to show this one or not, but more or less I will show you because it did take some time for me when I did this for first time, not sure how it will work this time, but here it is. So the first thing where you have to go, just go to the app stores and try to find out where to download this small e-control Broadlink app. This is very good for this one. It will work without any problems at all. So guys, after you have installed the, no, your application, as well you have registered, just Put this one inside the socket, plug this in. Okay, you can see it's in, a little bit blinking, but not enough. Then you have to press this one for about a few seconds, maybe one, two, three, I don't know. After it starts to blink more rapidly. You can see the blue is blinking a lot. So after you that, you have to go here and says add device. There is my Wi-Fi already, my password in, because I already using one. So I just says config. And I was searching for this device. And since it's active, you must probably find it. As you can see it loading there down. And it's still blinking, so it's still searching and trying to connect each other. To be honest, the first time when I tried to config this one, it took some time, didn't work very easily, but after this, I never had to do it again. So just one time you have to do it, and after then it will work very nice. What about uh, radius, how far this goes? Actually, as far as your phone. So if your phone works in your bathroom and it still can uh, catch the, your Wi-Fi si signal, I think this will also as well, we can. And if it will not, actually <laughs> just try to Connect it again and again until you get connection and then you have to just set your timer, whatever you want, and then it will work fine even if it will lose signal. As you see, the configuration failed. So guys, I'm back again and uh, after a little struggle, I finally remembered and also I deleted my previous settings for my another this smart plug but uh, here is uh, what I have to do to connect this one and set up it in working condition. First to remember to stand really close to your Wi-Fi router otherwise it might not work very easily. Next thing the instruction well it is kinda something but it doesn't help you at all if you want to connect this one because if you press it push this in 
and then you can see here is the red and blue are already blinking as it should be by instruction. If you go to add devices and try to configure it, everything it will not help at all. So what you have to do, just hold this one and wait until you can see right now it blinks and stops, blinks and stops. That's what you need. So after you got this condition, go to your same as here. So go to add device. And uh, don't go configure it, go here and choose uh, app mode. And then just press OK. And because of this, since it's blinking like blue, you will see this Broadlink Pro automatically. Just connect here, wait a little bit, and um, after it's connected, just go back, twice back to this screen. After you here, just go again up mode. Here are your all networks, which are very close to your this device. This is the really important thing. And choose your home Wi-Fi. Then just uh, put a password in and press OK. And here you can see it's successfully everything done. Now just go back and just uh, wait until your Wi-Fi will connect back. I think it will connect automatically. Or if not, just go. Yeah, you can see it's already connecting back. And it's back. And so, since this is on Wi Fi, just try and test it out how it works. Just go to your device. Uh, this might not find by the first time. Just click some, maybe more than once, this button. And after it finds, you can see here is this. And I just press it. And now it works manually. And it's not connected to this directly. As you can see, it's connected to my home Wi Fi. So it's connected to my home Wi-Fi and I can actually turn it off and on manually. And of course here you can see some more settings like history when it's on off. And this is the important stuff, it's timer. Here you can add different timers. I just add count schedule timers these are good ones too so I got one more device we'll try to maybe connect this one as well same time let's see how this will go so to reset it just wait about six seconds until it starts to Yeah, it's nice. It's blinking blue and s then stops. You know, do the same stuff. Go here, go here, app mode. Okay, find the Broadlink Pro. And after you've done this one, just a little bit wait. Go back to your apps. Go to your. Wait. Now you just need to wait for the. Look for your Wi Fi. <laughs> See? had to do it like three times to find this finally so it's struggling with connecting and finding the Wi-Fi but it's already done everything so nice fine and what I have right now two smart plugs so just to make it easier maybe number them or better rename them like this just hold this button and um, 
no this okay, go here device list smart plugs this is right right now in as you can see check status it's off and then Okay, and the second will be map. Okay, you cannot change name if it's not connected to electricity, so let's do it just for the fun. So guys, as you can see, I have put these two smart sockets in use and uh, one is the heater and one is the lamp. So what I will do, I will just use these ones. So first let's start with lamp and it's working and heater. Works really nice, everything together and it's actually makes it work nice so I have shown you how to do this thing how to connect it it's actually really hard stuff if you are a very beginner and the most important part as I said be close to your Wi-Fi router and everything else you can see there maybe you have to refresh some things more than once like when you go here and here and this app settings and uh, you're like in this app mode, just refresh more than once. Maybe it's not yet there, but more or less. If everything running nice and fine, it's like with this little blue light here, and it means it's on. And here you can turn it off, whatever you want. Distance, how far this actually uh, works. In my apartment, it works very easily all through the house. So even to it says that uh, the signal is weak or whatever else, to just turn it on or off, it doesn't take too much. So just try to push it more some more times and it will just uh, work as nice as fine as it should be. Here are some uh, this delay on, delay off as well. You can put some scheduled these timers, whatever else. So just quick words, some extra words. These uh, timer settings, whatever else. These are actually very nice help for you. For example, if you go sleep and want to turn on your heater for extra an hour, but you want to go and sleep, then this will be run really nice. But be aware that always check if it's the light for off or on, since if you change settings and turn it off and on, there's time time change this uh, on or off with like signs. So I had like twice this that uh, I didn't check this. I try to like extend some more minutes, something like that, and in the end it uh, turned out that I actually didn't do anything to turn it off. So in the end I woke up in the middle of the night and it was really hot. So it wasn't actually the fault of this timer or whatever else, it was fault of me. Just be aware, check this always. And uh, as well I heard that this consumes about 0 0.3 watts, so it's not that much at all. Not sure if it's right or not, but must, must, might be. And um, yeah, what else? Never use the iPhone charger or Android phone charger, but more or less, this is just a cable charger, regular one, will not fast charge your phone. And uh, some extra features more here in, as you can see, there are some extra things to check out, but more or less, device is very nice if you are out of home one turn on something or you're in bed and one turn off the light without any problems so overall my experience with this uh, smart socket or power plug or whatever else you want to call it 
It's actually really nice help. I use it often, especially if I want to delay the time, put timer for my heater or whatever else. And if I'm out of the home and I want to just hit the home, preheat everything, <laughs> you know, that's awesome. And uh, what else? The quality? Well, five months past, still works. Cost 12 bucks. So is it too expensive? Well, it's not cheap. It's expensive. I wish if this could also measure how much power I consume. I actually hope that it will, but for some reason it does not. But I hope the next generation they will put this feature in. And overall, well, this is this is if you're looking for some uh, sort of this smart device to control your appliance at home remotely, I think this is the way to go, and uh, it's future. So if you can set this up, then for sure you are worth to use this, <laughs> since it's not very easy to set up. Yeah, time time it as well has some errors with this application, but it does not uh, affect the working of the appliances and. Overall, I would recommend this one. Of course, if you can find cheaper, it's good, but this is a good device. And, and thank you for watching, and I hope I could help you at least give you some uh, interesting ideas how this looks and uh, how to set it up and uh, my user experience.